Hi, this is Erika Kassab from Small Robot Studio with a quick tutorial on Nomad Sculpt, a 3D sculpting app for iPad users. Today we are looking at how to create new primitives in our scene. Every new scene will start with a sphere. Well, actually, this is a subdivided box, not a perfect sphere. To create a new object, tap on the scene menu on the top left and scroll down to primitives. If you are curious about these other options in the menu, check out the previous video in this series where we review it. As you can see, we can choose several different primitives. In this video, we're gonna focus on the basic ones. Before tapping any of them, I will hide this original sphere and activate symmetrical. Now I will tap on box. It looks like I only have one, but I actually have two. Any modification to this box will be mirrored to the other one. These boxes aren't quite ready. I can still modify their mesh. In the bottom quick buttons, I will tap on this icon to show the mesh of the box. Now let's go back to the scene menu. I can change the overall subdivision of the mesh in this first section. The higher the number, the more faces the mesh will have. See what happens when I pull this slider all the way up. It jumps back down. This is because for the creation of primitives we have a safeguard at the bottom of the menu. This will control the maximum number of faces in a mesh to avoid going into really high numbers. With the sliders you can change the maximum number. I'll go back up. Just as we can change the overall subdivision, we can change the subdivision of each axis in the triplanar topology section. Right now it is set to constant density so all the faces will have the same number of polygons. I'll deactivate it and move each slider independently. If you want to go back to what we had, just activate again constant density. So my cube has rounded corners, which you might want or not. If I increase the topology, they get sharper, but you might not want a high poly count. If I activate flat subdivision, then we will preserve sharp edges. What if I want a high poly primitive with rounded corners? Then I will deactivate flat subdivision, keep the topology number low, but increase the overall subdivision. What if I want a tall prism instead of a perfect cube? No worries, scroll down a little into the triplanar geometry section. Deactivate, same size option and move the sliders to control each axis. Of course, you can also use the gizmo on the screen. It's a matter of whether you want to make the changes with a control number or by hand. Don't forget that if you want to do control rotations on specific angles, you have to use this slider and the gizmo. Right now, I cannot do any sculpting operation, because my primitive is still in editing mode. Once I am happy with the topology, I'll tap on validate, which you will find in the scene menu or in the bottom quick buttons. Once you validate, you cannot modify the topology anymore and you will lose the max safeguard. These pre-validating options will change a little depending on the primitive I choose. For example, a cylinder will let me add a hole in the middle or have different radiuses in the top and bottom. For a torus, I can change how thick the ring is, the inner radius and even if I want a full ring or just part of it we can change a cone height and the base radius. We will look into these other primitives in our next video for the series. Alright, happy sculpting! That's it for this tutorial. If you find it useful, make sure that you leave a like so other people can find it. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe as we are bringing out CG and illustration tutorials every week. Become a patron and access tutorial assets, bonus content, a private discord and more by clicking in the link below.